Welcome to linear momentum. So we're going to solve one of the questions which goes like this. I'm saying a bullet of mass, 15 grams, and traveling at a speed of 600 meters per second strikes a block of mass 3 kg, which is suspended by a string of length 4 meters. The bullet goes through the block in a very short time, and the center of mass of the block is and the block is found to rise vertically a distance of 10 centimeters as shown in the figure below. The saying, what was the speed of the bullet just after it emerged from the, uh, from the block? So here I will start by drawing first of all the diagram that these people are talking about. How is the sketch looking like? How is the sketch looking like? So this type of equation, I know a good number of people are used to what we call perfect inelastic collision, whereby if they stick together, then they'll start moving as a whole. Now, in this case, a bullet had entered and it came out. Then this block started moving up and down. So what you're going to observe is once it reaches here, uh, after moving from this given point it to come on this given point, but where it was initially, you find that here, this is where it will have its own uh, final velocity. And here it is going to have what we call potential energy. So due to its velocity at this given point, automatically, here it is going to have what? Kinetic energy. That side it will only have potential energy. Okay, so some people might be wondering to say, how do we handle this question exactly? How do we handle this question exactly? So this type of a collision is what we call elastic collision. Why? Because a, bo a bullet entered into the uh, the block and it came out. So each particle started moving on its own. So this type of a collision is what we call an elastic collision, meaning that linear linear momentum and kinetic energy what a concept so mainly in this case you find that mostly this type uh, this one won't work hence we are going to use what we call a conservation conservation of mechanical energy why because it involves moving up and down so conservation of mechanical energy has to take place at this given point all right okay so if you just get back a bit to this diagram you are going to observe that like i said kinetic energy here must be equal to the potential energy on the top part so that is according to uh, the conservation of mechanical energy so you start with the conservation of mechanical energy meaning that we are going to have the final velocity of a block and, and then I have to know the final velocity of this one after it emerged. They won't have the same velocity. Why? Because they didn't move together. The, bu uh, the bullet came out of the block. So how do you handle uh, the same scenario in this case? What you're going to do, you say kinetic energy that is at the bottom must be equal to potential energy on top. So remember, since this distance, which is here, the height at which the block will add uh, rising, it is in centimeters. You need to convert this to what? To meters. Now, first of all, I'll say H must be equal to 10 centimeters multiplied by 1 meter divided by 100 centimeters, which is going to give us what? 0 0.1 meters. All right. So this is the distance to which uh, the block had risen. Okay, now we use the formula. Remember, I'm saying like at the bottom, that's where the final velocity is going to be. On top here, it is almost resting. Hence, the entire velocity is converted to what? To initial, why? because it will stop moving. And then it will have the maximum height, I mean, the maximum velocity at this given point, which is the final velocity. Meaning that you are going to do it like this. I'll just say 1 over 2, say m v square equal to that is the final velocity of what of the block and not a bullet 
So here we're going to say M G H. Remember this height is the one which I'm from converting that side. So this and that can go. We're going to have B square equal to 2 G H. Meaning that the final velocity of the block has to be equal to a root of 2 G H. So now you say V has to be equal to square root of 2 multiplied by 9.8 multiplied by 0 0.1. You have to be very careful in answering this question because if you are used to that other question which requires us to use what we call the principle, maybe the conservation of um, momentum in such a case that it will be perfectly inelastic, this one it is not like that because these two things were separated. This one was moving alone once a bullet came out. If and only if this had stuck to this one, that's when you can consider that scenario and find the velocity of the two as the same. Now, in this case, I'm trying to find, first of all, the final velocity at which the bullet was moving. So at this moment of time, what you're going to do, there is a calculator here. You say uh, two multiplied by 9.8, you multiply it by 0 0.1 say equal to, so you square root this one, you are going to find that the answer is going to give you 1.4 meters per second. So meaning that the final velocity of the block was 1.4 meters per second. This is the final velocity at which the block had been moving with. Okay, now if you want to find the final velocity of the block, we are going to use the conservation of linear momentum, the conservation of linear momentum. So here I'll say conservation of linear momentum. Conservation of linear momentum. How are you going to handle the same conservation of linear momentum? So since we have two different particles and the other one initially it was at rest, meaning that its initial momentum has to be equal to zero. In this case, we're trying to talk about the so-called a block because initially it was at rest. So you're going to say the summation of initial momentum must be equal to the summation of final momentum. How are we going to handle this? We are going to have something like this now. We're going to say mass of a for the uh, bullet you say its initial velocity you say mass of the block multiplied by its initial velocity equal to here i'll just use va to mean the final velocity of the bullet so this is going to be mass of a va plus mass of b v b something like that now, if you proceed, you are going to understand that this part, since the bullet was, I mean, the block was initially at rest, this is going to give us what? Zero. It won't have its own velocity. Hence, if you multiply zero by the mass, you are going to, to get the entire thing as what? As zero. You come on this part. Remember, we are interested in finding the final velocity of the block. And then, meaning that this can just move to the other side, you are going to have something like this. Mass of uh, the bullet multiplied by its initial velocity minus mass of the block multiplied by the final velocity of the block equal to say mass of the bullet multiplied by its final velocity. So if you try to get back to the question, they're saying the bullet had a mass of mass of a bullet is equal to what? 15 grams. If you try to convert this into kgs, you are going to understand that it will be 15 grams multiplied by 1 kg, which is given by 1,000 grams. The calculator is there to help you. So you say 15 divided by 1,000 grams. We are getting 0. Point, so this is going to give us 0. 0.015 kg. This is the mass of the bullet and you remember the mass of the block they're saying is three kgs so since a bullet is very light you find that its initial velocity has been given already which is 600 meters per second once it strikes a block automatically the velocity can reduce as 
smaller as to maybe 100 and something, 200 and something, including uh, 300 and something. Okay, so in this case, we continue. We are going to find that this formula which I'm from uh, making at, at this given point, I'll use the same formula. How is it going to be applicable? We are going to understand that here you can just write it like this. Say mass of the bullet, its final velocity equal to mass of the bullet, the initial velocity of the bullet minus mass of the block multiplied by the final velocity of the block. You can divide throughout by what? Mass of the bullet over mass of the bullet. Meaning that the final velocity of the bullet B, B, sorry, A, A B, A, X, it will be equal to, you say, what is the mass of the bullet? It is 0 0.015 multiplied by the initial velocity of the bullet has been given already, which is what? Which is 600. Say minus, what is the mass of that? Is 3. You multiply this by the, the initial, I mean the final Velocity of the uh, block is what? 1.4. That's what we are from finding. You divide throughout by the mass of the bullet, which is 0 0.015. Meaning that the final velocity of the, uh, of the bullet is going to be given as follows. There is a calculator here. You can use it. So you are going to understand that it will be 0 0.015 multiplied by 600. You say equal to, you say minus open bracket so we are multiplying 3 multiplied by 0 sorry 1.4 something like this to get 4.8 on the part of the numerator so we are getting 4.8 you divide by 0 0.015 then whenever you try to divide the answer which is given there already divide it by uh, 0 0.015 what answer are we going to get so we are getting the final velocity of the bullet as 320 meters per second mean that v a is going to be equal to 320 meters per second so this becomes the final velocity of the bullet be careful in answering this question thank you for watching subscribe like our videos thank you